So let's say name where you're from and what do you do? Uh, my name is Vincent Vanderlinden. I'm from New York City and I'm a student. I'm in high school uh, going into 11th grade. Why do you choose Belize to volunteer? Uh, I chose Belize to volunteer mostly because it was an English speaking country and because the other, only other option for me as a 16 year old was Peru and I thought it would be easier to come here and be able to speak English to socialize and communicate better. How was the U.S. communication prior traveling? Uh, it was great. It was pretty easy. Um, the U.S. communication, yeah, it was fine. It's, when I got here, it was a little harder. but. How was the service the local staff and coordinator provided to you while in Belize? Uh, everybody was extremely friendly, and I can't complain about the staff. They were really nice. They offered whatever I wanted. If I had any problems or complications, they wouldn't hesitate to try to help me out. So, yeah, no complaints about that. What was a typical work day like? Uh, a typical work day was wake up um, a little before breakfast, try to maybe help out in the kitchen throughout the day with meals, and then be proactive in asking what you could do to help, whether it was to socialize with the kids, play games with them, uh, help them with their arts, or just maybe help in the yard and do yard work and things like that. What was the most surprising thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? The most surprising thing? Uh, probably just the fact that uh, the kids were extremely happy to see me uh, and that they opened up to me really fast. I thought it was going to take a lot more for them to be, you know, happy with me being around them. And But it actually happened surprisingly fast. And I feel like I'm friend, best friends with some of them already, so that's great. Tell us a bit about your accommodation and meals. Uh, well, the, uh, I can, sorry. The place that where I'm living is great, but uh, it gets really hot in there, so I have to open the windows um, and use my fan. But other than that, it's extremely comfortable. I'm sharing it with one other roommate, so there's no complaints about the space. And the meals themselves are also really good. I feel like they're really healthy. And uh, I kind of, because usually I eat a lot of junk food, so it's good to kind of separate myself from, from uh, eating that kind of bad food. What was the most challenging thing you experienced while volunteering in the league? Uh, the most challenging thing was the heat and having and like all the mosquitoes. As you can see, I have bugs all over <laughs> me right now. So yeah, that was that was the most challenging thing really. What type of donations can other volunteers bring for the program? Uh, donations maybe just um, shirts, shorts, uh, slippers. Uh, maybe cups and once you get here maybe try to offer some food or you know maybe suggest some parties that the kids could have just to make it more enjoyable for them. Are you willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Any tips for future volunteers coming to Belize? Uh, yeah, wear a lot of sunscreen, wear a lot of mosquito spray. Um, and I guess don't stay in the sun too long because it gets really exhausting. But other than that, yeah, socialize with the kids, be proactive, ask what you can do to help, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you for volunteering, Belize, and we hope to have you back with us soon. Thank you.